Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. Our 24 hour temperature cast starts kind of low. We're talking some mid 30s, even spots below freezing. We should warm up to near 60 decent sunshine today. I think we have a chance to get to 60 and then overnight tonight it's going to get cold again, but maybe not as cold as this morning because we should generate some clouds later on today. We got rid of those clouds after very stubborn cloud cover most of the day yesterday and with the clear skies overnight last night and this morning and all the clouds pushed off to the south. That's why temperatures are falling as far as they're falling. We're down to 32 in Thomasville and in Valdosta. The airport in Tallahassee at 36. Now there's a little breeze in order for the temperatures to really hit the bottom. You need to have clear skies, cold, dry air in place and need calm winds. So we get a little breeze, even five miles per hour. That's enough to get things stirring where we don't see those temperatures get as low as they otherwise could. When we see dew point temperatures that are in the upper 20s, the air is real dry. And so if the winds calm down, we could see the temperatures fall a little bit more and see those air temperatures get down close to where those dew point numbers are. It is 28 degrees in Blakely. It's 29 degrees at Camilla. Look at all the 32s, Quincy and Bainbridge and Thomasville and Moultrie and Valdosta all at 32. It does get a little warmer in Perry at 37 across city where it's still 40. Now that breeze is something that maybe we'll notice at times today, but we're not going to call it breezy. The wind will be out of the north, bringing in more of the cooler and drier. I don't expect fog to be an issue for us. And depending on how long this breeze from the north can continue to bring in that drier air, all of this cloud cover to our south stays there, I think, for most of today. Now, as we get into the day tomorrow, we see some new energy trying to lift closer to the Gulf Coast, and that's when we'll start to bring those clouds back. So during the day tomorrow, expect those clouds to really increase. We could start to see some of the clouds later on today and tonight, some of those high thin clouds. But if we're going to get any rain out of those clouds, it would likely be late Saturday, early Sunday. And even that is kind of iffy at best. The farther south you are, the better chance we'll have to find some of those showers. But there is at least a chance for some showers, maybe by early Sunday. Out across the tropics, not a lot going on out there right now. We like to see it this way. Still some time left of the Atlantic hurricane season. We'll keep our eyes out there, but right now nothing for us to be watching. Small crafts need to use some caution. Breezy and cool around here on the Gulf today. Winds out of the north and northeast like 10 to 20 and seas 2 to 4 feet. We'll go 30s and 40s. Cold this morning. Sun will be up at 706. Temperatures will start to rise a little after 8. How about upper 50s to near 60 this afternoon? The sunshine gives us a chance to get there. Tonight it's going to be more upper 30s, some middle 30s, depending on who's lucky enough to get some clouds and who isn't. And then over the weekend, small chances for showers late Saturday, early Sunday. I think there's a better chance to get some showers on Tuesday. But we got a couple of days to fine tune that for you.